Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to sync Tractor Pro 2 and Ableton Live running on the same computer. Before we can actually use the two programs together, we need to make sure that we sync them in time so that you don't have to do any beat matching between the two. So for that, we're going to start in Tractor, as that is what's going to be sending out the MIDI clock to Ableton Live. So let's go ahead and open up the preferences by clicking on the Cogville icon up in the top right. Then go to the MIDI clock tab. From here, we just need to go ahead and enable send MIDI clock. Then we're going to go down to the controller manager tab. And here we're going to go ahead and click the add button up in the top and then click generic MIDI. Now with the generic MIDI device selected, we're going to set the import from all ports to none and the out port to Tractor Virtual Output. Then we're going to go ahead and click Close down at the bottom. Now that we have the Tractor Virtual Output set up, we can go into Ableton Live and change some of the settings there. So we'll go ahead and switch to Ableton Live. I'm using Ableton Live 8, but this should work with older versions as well. So we're going to go into the Preferences by clicking Apple, comma, or by doing Control, comma on a PC. Then on the MIDI Sync tab, we're going to want to click Sync next to Tractor Virtual Output. We can go ahead and close the preferences for now. Then we're going to want to click this new button up here in the top left that is the external sync switch. So we'll click EXT. And now we're going to need to go back to Tractor. So now that we're back in Tractor, we can go to the Master Clock section, which you might be familiar with from our video on using sync. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the master clock section. And here we're going to go ahead and click the play button under the send options. Then we're going to click sync. Finally, we are going to click tick, which will enable the metronome. So now that we have the metronome enabled in Tractor, we're gonna to need to switch back to Ableton Live. And you can see up in the top that Ableton Live is actually playing. So then we're going to go ahead and enable the metronome in Ableton Live. Now because these are off, we need to correct them to make sure that everything stays in time with each other. So we're going to once again open up the preferences, and this time we're going to twirl down these extra options for the tractor virtual output. Then we're going to need to go ahead and adjust the MIDI clock sync delay until our two beats are in time with each other. When you hear the set of metronomes are in time with each other, you can turn off the metronomes and then start mixing between the two and everything will be in time. One thing that you should know is that Ableton Live is running synced to the clock in Tractor Pro. So you cannot stop Ableton Live until you stop sending the mini data in Tractor Pro. All you have to do to stop syncing is press the play pause button under the send section of the master clock. Because you have everything set up correctly now, all you have to do the next time that you want to use both programs together is open up the master clock section, press play pause, and then press sync. That will tell Ableton Live to start playing and will sync up the VPMs between the two programs. So that is how you can sync Tractor Pro 2 and Ableton Live using the Tractor virtual output. If you would like to suggest a video tutorial topic for Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2 or Ableton Live, Leave a comment on this video at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or on the blog post for this video at the DJ podcast.com and let us know what you would like to see. Don't forget that you can also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash the DJ podcast. And you can get all of our video tutorial updates by liking our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the DJ podcast. Thanks for watching.